welcome back to Eastside RC. On this channel, it's everything gas, all right? So I ain't been able to get any brapping done because I've been fixing chainsaws, blowers, weed whackers, lawnmowers, log splitters, generators. <laughs> I'm a small engine mechanic, man. It's what I do, all right, on the side. And I'm saving up some money because I want to put a Taylor RC 46 GT in my 30 degree north. And right now, I've just been concentrating on paying stuff off. But, guys, we're going to take a look at a quick tech tip, a simple, easy tech tip that people uh, don't know about, the new guys especially. So most of you guys probably know about it. Some of you don't. But we're going to set you guys up over here on the workbench. We're going to get right at it. All right, y'all. Today's tech tip is regarding spark plug installation. I just uh, received some information that a uh, re very reputable engine company, I'm not going to slander any names, they they mass produce engines, and no, it's not Taylor RC, but it's a, a reputable engine company, and they, they put in a spark plug with an impact drill, and it stripped the threads out in the head, and now it trashed the guy's uh, cylinder, but it's not totally trashed, he's just going to have to take the engine apart, clean the metal shavings out of it, and drill out this and then tap it and, and add a Healy coil in here so that he can reinstall his spark plug. But this is a simple tip, guys, that I want to share with you all that many people don't know about and some of you guys do know about. Uh, here's a spark plug that is traditionally used in our engines, all right? This is a weed whacker spark plug that I got out of a weed whacker that I was working on. As you can see, it's a little, it's dirty and it's already been, it's already had the washer crushed. It's what we use in our engines, the CMR7H. The R stands for resistor that's in the spark plug because the resistor resists interference in our RC cars, all right? Because they're radio controlled, obviously. So what I want to show you guys is a brand new out of the package. It's nice to have a spare cylinder like this, or you can have a plate that you can get made or that you can make and you can drill and tap it for the spark plug. Here is the spark plug wrench that comes with chainsaws and weed whackers and whatnot in, in our RC cars. This came with my Roven 45. This is a, a scrunch is what this is called. So when you're installing your spark plug, a brand new one, into your engine, you want to put it in there and you want to thread it in there by hand. All right? You don't want to use a drill and down in there. That's not a good idea. You want to thread this in like this, get it finger tight, all right? Now, suppose this is brand new. You want to put your, your, your scrunch on there, and you want to tighten this thing down like this, okay? Tighten it down till it stops. You want to fully crush the crush washer. Then you want to back the spark plug back off, and then you're going to tighten it back up, all right? What I like to do, I back it up, Finger tight, put your scrunch back on, and snug it up. That's it. You're done. That's how you install a spark plug and a four-stroke, a two-stroke, your vehicles. All spark plugs should be installed like this, okay? So that's my tip for you guys today. It's that simple, and when you take your spark plug out, see, you won't have any issues at all. You can even put a teeny tiny dab of never seize on there or anti seize or whatever if you have a, a head that's just like really stiff when you're putting the spark plugs in there sometimes the threads are just a little too tight so you can put some never seize in there to ensure that it won't get stuck in the head and so when you when you take your spark plug loose the threads come with it all right so that's a simple easy tip i just want to share with you guys today Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see you on the next one. Eastside RC is out.